properties of state transition matrix. The last session we discussed about the state transition matrix. So once again we recollect this. Whenever we are getting the solution for the state model, we got the equation is like this. That is the equation equaled x of t is nothing but Laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse into x of 0 plus Laplace inverse of si a whole inverse b into u of s b into u of s we are getting the two solution this is the first solution and this is the second solution yes in that we can write it when we are converting like this the x of t is become like this if we apply the laplace transform to this it will become laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse so that will we can directly write it it is a a power e power a t and remaining is the x power 0 okay and what about remaining term remaining term we will write like this it will become integration 0 to t e power a t minus tau and b into u tau into d tau so this is the another thing in this this is no that zero input response because there is no input here the input is there there is no state so we can call it as the zero state response zero state response right so it, it is in t so that's why it is complete time domain but what about but this equation is s terms are available in the s in the s means this is directly the s domain this is directly the s domain right so in this e power a t we can take it e power a t as phi of t so we are, we, we are assuming phi of t is nothing but e power a t so what is this value this value is like this laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse this phi of t or e power a t this called as state transition matrix this is called as the state transition matrix state transition matrix though state transition matrix have very important role in analyzing the state space analysis it has the very very important role so now we will discuss what are the properties of the state transition matrix here the first property is we can write phi of 0 phi of 0 phi of 0 means if you take time is 0 then what happens so time is 0 it will become e power 0 into t that is if it is e power 0 is 1 but the matrix it is a matrix form that's why i identity matrix we will get the identity matrix next what is the second property here the second property equaled if phi phi of t has some power phi of t has some power then we can write like this so for example if you are replacing with phi of t what happen phi power kt for example if i am replacing kt phi has the kt time is multiplied with some constant then what happen here e power in place of t a into kt and then it equal yeah this is we can write e power a t whole power k so that's why we can write it e power a t you know that phi of t whole power k so therefore we can tell the another formula that is phi of k t equal to phi of t whole power k phi of t whole power k 
phi of t whole power k. This is phi of 0 equal to i. Phi of 0 is nothing but the identity matrix. This is the second. What about third principle? Here the third equation is like this. We can write third is like this. If simple if the third is taking phi of minus t same as the phi of kt then what happened it will become e power a minus t so e power a t minus t we can write e power a t whole power minus 1 so finally we can write phi of t whole inverse phi of t whole inverse so, so therefore phi of minus t is nothing but phi of t whole inverse phi of t whole inverse so this is the another formula this is the another formula what about next formula if we are using combination of two time periods that means phi of t1 plus t2 phi of t1 plus t2 what happened then if you are substituting in place of we are writing t1 plus t2 then we can write like this e power a t1 plus a t2 and again it will be modified like this e power a t1 into e power a t2 a t1 into e power a t2 how can we write it e power a t1 i will write phi phi of t1 e power a t2 i will write phi of t2 so therefore finally phi of t plus t1 plus t2 will give phi of t1 into phi of t2 so it is a another equation it is the another equation yeah another important thing so by analyzing all these things it is the properties of the tra state transition matrix what are those first at time period equals 0 state transition matrix will become i i means what is the i identity matrix i is nothing but the identity matrix and if the time period is multiplied with k then it has total power of k then it has total power of k phi of t whole power k it become what about third so by using the above second formula phi of minus t is nothing but phi of t whole inverse so it is become the inverse matrix if two time periods are added together in the state transition matrix then phi of t1 plus t2 is phi of t1 into phi of t2 phi of t1 plus phi of t2 okay so next so generally in state space analysis the representation is like this the representation is x dot equal to ax plus bu and y equal to cx plus du so these are the two equations actually okay these are the this is the states state equation differential state equation and this is the output equation if in this input is 0 if the input is 0 u value is 0 then what happen then what happen the state equations we have the two state equations what happen the state equations will become homogeneous that state equations will become homogeneous that means look at here this becomes zero then x dot equal to x y equal cx then simply it becomes the homogeneous equation then for that homogeneous equation the solution is simply we can write that is the zero input response solution is the zero input response and if the input is not equal to zero then then the system equations have x dot plus ax plus bu y cx plus du then the state equation is non-homogeneous the state equation is non homogeneous okay then the solution is 
the combination of zero input response and zero state response the solution is then zero input response as well as the zero state response okay so this is the important thing so when we are discuss the state space analysis if you want a if you want a state response then in the state response if we not given if the input is zero then the state equations is become the homogeneous equations and the solution for this equation is zero input response if the input is not equal to zero the state equation is become the non homogeneous equation for the non homogeneous equation the solution is it is zero input response plus zero state response by doing this we will get the two equations okay so these are the properties of the state transition matrix so these are the properties and this is the solution for the state transition matrix by using this we can understand state space analysis very easily okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you